So last night I finished the applique and you can see the skater is all secured with the blanket stitch and I've gone ahead and mounted my backing to my Bernina Q24 and then I placed my batting on and the pillow top. And one of the things you'll notice is that I've already gone around and basted all the way around the piece just to secure it through the batting and the backing and I do the same thing on a domestic. Now. The sequence of quilting in this case, so the thing I've noticed the most is whether these lines are straight. So I'm going to go ahead and use a ruler and quilt those lines. And then when I get to her foot, I'm going to go all the way around the skater. Then I'm going to come back and show you how I quilt the background because that was um, one of the requests I had in my Facebook group is show you guys how um, I quilt the blizzard background. Because as you can see, there's a lot of inspiration in the fabric, so I kind of loosely follow it. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So I'm back and I'm ready to quilt these swirls and I've actually changed my foot to an open toe foot. Um, I actually wouldn't normally do that, but when you're filming a video, it really provides um, better visibility. Normally I just keep my ruler foot on because I'm too lazy to end threads, so I've gotten used to quilting with it. So I'm gonna bring my bobbin thread to the top, pull it back up, and then I will be doing a few stitches very close together before I'm on my way. I'm going to very loosely follow these swirl lines, very, very loosely. Just kind of take inspiration from them rather than worrying about following exactly because honestly, you're never going to see it. There's a lot going on in that background. So I might come in here and then go out there and then travel along the edge of the skater and do this swirl and travel along the edge to get to this swirl. I'm going to come in here and do a little loop in the middle of that partial swirl. And then come here and come all the way across to this swirl and then maybe come back to her leg, go around that little swirl. And then just kind of, it's easier once you get in the center because you, there's more to follow, but you kind of loosely follow the shapes, just taking inspiration. So remember, we're making a texture. We're not overly concerned with following every single little line because honestly, you'll never see. I am quilting here with Orifil cotton thread. Um, I think it's um, a 50 weight because that's, I happen to have a ton of that in my bobbin. Um, and I don't think in this case, 50 or 40 would make that much of a difference because the background is so busy. So when I come over here, I might come in. You see, I didn't follow exactly, and it still looks pretty good. Come around here, make a swirl. I'm always looking when I design fabrics or when I shop for fabrics. I'm looking for fabrics that are easy to quilt, fabrics that kind of provide me with a framework. You can't always find it, but when I see them, I really love to pick them up. And um, that's what this blizzard print for my Winter Games design uh, was designed to do. So I missed one over here. I'm just gonna go over and catch it. But you see how loose this is? I am not freaking out about trying to get every single thing quilted. I'm just basically loosely following the lines going back and forth. Now, I'm going to turn this off. Do you see that? Do you see that? Um, I'm just kind of loosely following them, but there's nothing, um, there's nothing exact about it. And because this is such an organic feeling in here. I think that in that red stripe, the red accent stripe that has the skis in this area, I think I'll go with something totally different. So a good choice in there. Normally I probably either do some cross hatching, but in this case there's a strong vertical pull to this print. So I'm probably just going to do some um, straight line quilting every half an inch going down there when I'm done. So that's my quilting plan and I'll show you it when it's finished. And now you can see the finished product with uh, the blizzard print all quilted in here. And over here we have some straight line vertical quilting. And it's time to trim the pillow and then put it together with the backing. So here you have the finished pillow. It's been quilted and bound. And I finished the back too. Oh, you can't see it right now, but I put these buttons on the back so you can see the skaters on the back. And also 
on the front, and I hope you enjoy making the pillow as well.